Today's subscription spot, Spot's having a look at another box that came for us from the folks over at NerdBlock. Today we're having a look at the box from the month of March. Right at the very top, indicated right below the label that Spots crossed out his address, we've got www.nerdblock.com, facebook.com forward slash nerdblock, Twitter at nerdblock, and Instagram at nerdblock, but you can go to www.nerdblock.com if you want to have one of these bad boys sent to your very door every single month. Inside this box, I don't really know honestly what's inside this box, but inside this box is at least going to be a t-shirt and some other nerd goodies that are going to delight and astound. Having said that, let's grab ourselves a knife. Got myself Hank. Always like to grab Hank when I'm opening up a nerd block because the colors almost match. That being said, you'll see the front of the tape here has not been cut open. That indicates to you guys out there, you especially, that I have not cut this open. By the way, what I just did by pointing a knife at you, that's not good, you shouldn't do that. Don't point a knife at anybody. point like a, a banana at somebody. That's not going to really hurt anybody, but not a knife. Opening up the box inside for the month of March, first thing we have is a t-shirt. The t-shirt, oh goody, the t-shirt, a slice of fried gold. For your electric sales advisor, Sean. Very nice, little Sean of the Dead t-shirt. Gonna fold this up. Because there's so many more goodies. Oh, don't don't kid yourself. There's a lot more than just the t-shirt, my friends. Let's investigate further. Next, we have ourselves the Guardians of the Galaxy nesting dolls. In the far reaches of the Marvel Universe, a ragtag bunt band, ah, band of outsiders, misfits, and swashbucklers thrown together by circumstances must join forces to defeat a cosmic force of epic proportions. Led by the interstellar adventurer Star-Lord, these unlikely heroes embark upon the rollicking interstellar journey that spans multiple worlds and alien races and will truly earn them the name Guardians of the Galaxy. Comes to us from PBW Toys and NerdBlock. Of course, yes I am, Billy. I am going to open this up. We're going to open this up. Have a look at the nesting dolls. You know what nesting dolls are, right? You should. Nesting dolls are where you have, let me get this closed here, a bigger doll or bigger canister, you open it up, inside smaller one, you open that up, smaller still, and then so on. So the first nesting doll we have is Groot. Me Groot, I don't wanna have these all come undone on me. So we have Groot, we have Drax, These sadly don't want to stay together very well. Maybe because they were already kind of loose when I opened them up. There we go. Put Drax down there. We got Star Lord. Star Lord. Actually, it tells you on the side, but I'm not going to. I don't want to spoil it. Star Lord. Oh, that's why. It was upside down. That's why it didn't come together. Star Lord. girl. I never remember her name. What is her name? doesn't actually say. It's going to come to me later. And finally, is there one more? Oh, there is one more. There's Rocket. And lastly, Baby Groot. Baby Groot doesn't open to anything else. Got some, some nesting dolls. Very cool. And that was inside this box. I pulled open what was in the contents of the box, and just like that, I got myself six collectibles. It's just like that. That's how easy it can be. Moving along, we have the Gardens of the Galaxy Rocket Raccoon. Ooh, that's a plush magnet. It is a plush magnet. It comes to us from, well, it just says Marvel. No, Monogram. It comes to us from the folks over at Monogram. Little Rocket Raccoon. It's got like a little bit of plushness to it, but a little rocket raccoon magnet. This is going to find its home right on my fridge. 
Then somebody's going to ask, why is this on the fridge? I'm going to say, because it is. Don't ask any more questions. Putting that to the side, we also have the Multicolor Edition Money World Do-It-Yourself. Uh, you can draw on Raffi. You can paint on Raffi. Use pens, pencils, and crayons on Raffi. Make things to put on Raffi's feet. Make hats to put on Raffi's head. Or you can just leave Raffi alone and keep Raffi around to help you eat your vegetables. Is it a goat? Let's investigate further. I know, you're wondering as well. Let's open this up and find out together. Well, it comes with some stickers. Some stickers that I can design it. Hooves? Does it actually come with? It does come with hooves. I think it's like a goat. That's my guess. It's either a goat or a little cow. Also comes with like a little paintbrush. You can't use this to paint with this, but that's pretty neat. A little calf. Is it a cow? Is it a goat? I don't know. It raffy. Maybe it's a maybe it's a calf, a little baby calf. So we gotta do it yourself. Almost dropped it. Do it yourself, money world raffy. Moving along, we also have what is this? Mr. J's April Fool's Kit. You'll die to get your hands on this. Oh boy, what do we got here? Let's open this up. I, I say that, I was gonna open it up anyways. Well, it's not a big, robust bag, but we've got Freeze's Ice Ice Babies. It may be frozen, but my jokes are red hot. Little ice cubes with flies inside. That's, that's kind of funny. And then we have a Harley Quinn, a Harley Quinn, drop the bomb, <laughs> drop the bomb, uh, whoopee cushion. You all know how whoopee cushions work. You blow them up, somebody sits on it, the rest of the family laugh and point and go, ha ha ha, look at this guy over here. And then the person who has sat on it plots their revenge for the rest of the night. We also have a small boy's journey into becoming a big kid, Nerd Do Well by Simon Pegg. This, I'm going to definitely read for sure. I am very excited about reading this. Which is something I believe they hinted at last month. Uh, last month they were hinting at a Simon Pegg collaboration. It's so cool that they would put a book, like a book inside a subscription box. So I'll be looking forward to reading that. And we also have... I Ain't Afraid of No Spoilers, Ghostbusters. If you have a dose of Freaky Ghost, you better call NerdBlock. We've teamed up with the Titan Merchandise and Sony Pictures to bring the subscribers an epic, officially licensed vinyl Ghostbusters collectible that you won't find anywhere else. You don't have to be a collector of spores, molds, and fungus to get excited about this one. Oh boy, is this... This might potentially be next month. FYI to everybody. FYI, by the way, means for your information. So, to touch base on what we found in this month's uh, NerdBlock... We've got Guardians of the Galaxy Magnets, Money World, Nerd Do Well Novel, uh, Simon Says April Fools for, um, what do we got? Uh, well, the Batman Ice and Harley Quinn Whoopi Cushion. And then we've got the t-shirt, Simon Pegg t-shirt. And oh, and on the back also, Guardians of the Galaxy Nesting Dolls. How cool is that? The answer is very cool. If you guys want all of this delivered to your door and perhaps next month, Ghostbusters, definitely click the link down below, guys, and subscribe to NerdBlock, and you can have this box similar to this. Maybe not so much this one, because this one will be mine. You can have this similar box delivered to your door every single month. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at NerdBlock's Month of March subscription box. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. Certainly stay tuned. Spot's going to have more subscription boxes heading your way as we have a look at other things that can be delivered to your door every single month. Thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.